Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we're talking all things pop culture. Today, it's time for another AEW report, and I'm switching things up a little bit. I was trying to do these weekly recap videos, but I'm gonna start switching it up, and I'm gonna do more topical videos from now on. I'm still gonna talk about the things that have been going on weekly, but I wanna focus on one subject in particular, and today's video subject is hired muscle fatigue. We are now over two months of AEW being on TNT, and we've had some really great shows. They've also crowned their first women's champion in Riho, and SCU has been very impressive as the tag team champions. A lot of people thought when AEW started up, you'd see the elite guys holding all the gold, but they've been putting over a lot of other guys in singles and tag teams, and that's really good to see. We've had one pay-per-view since weekly TV programming has begun and Full Gear lived up to the $50 asking price. We've also seen the complete heel turn of MJF on his best friend, Cody Rhodes. And we've seen La Champion hold on to his title after defending it against Darby Allin, Cody Rhodes, and most recently, Scorpio Sky. Now there's something that MJF and Jericho both have in common. Yes, they are both great athletes, and yes, they both make great heels. Their promo together where they look like a couple of Looney Tunes characters bickering back and forth a few weeks ago was pretty damn entertaining. But the two things they have in common I'm discussing today is their hired muscle. Jericho with Jake Hagar, and now MJF with Wardlow. And why in such a short period of time, I'm already feeling hired muscle fatigue. Now I'm all for factions. I really like the idea of the inner circle. Of course, right away, there were many people saying that this was just gonna be another NWO, but so far they've kept it under control with only having five members, with Jake Hagar being the hired muscle. I get that Jericho is a bad guy and he will cheat to win at times, and I'm all for that as well. But the predictability of Jake Hagar and his run-in has already lost its muster. Now he grabbed some heat when he did it in the match with Jericho versus Darby Allin. And in a previous video, I thought the run-in was a terrible idea as Jericho already had Darby Allen's hands tied behind his back. I felt the run-in at that time didn't do anything to get the right type of heat. It was just like, why does Jericho need help of his hired muscle to beat a guy with his hands tied behind his back? And most recently, his match with Scorpio Sky. The stipulations in the match were that everyone was barred from ringside, but Hagar still came down and put his two cents into the match. The only thing I could think of was, okay, AEW, enough already. It's getting played out. And even though I wasn't in the crowd, it felt like there was no real crowd reaction, which is not a good sign. Now on to MJF and his hired muscle Wardlow. Now MJF had just come off his official heel turn from throwing in the towel, surrendering the match of his best friend Cody Rhodes at full gear. The next Dynamite, MJF was getting some major heat during a promo he was having with Chris Jericho. And when Cody came out to settle the score, he was jumped by the big man. Now, while Wardlow did get heat that night, most recently, we saw him sticking his nose into the match with MJF and the Hangman. It's just hard to have any emotion when essentially your two biggest heels are using the same tactics. Now, I'd like to see these big men have some matches, giving them something else to do besides the constant interference going forward. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this video here on Toned In Entertainment. What did you guys think about my subject matter this week? hired muscle fatigue leave me a comment below and guys make sure you subscribe here to toned in entertainment for future videos subscribe to the channel do it go now do it now